Hi everyone, I'm finally back in my own classroom and today I want to be talking about three kinds of students that you're going to be meeting in your physics class and how you can be helping them. Of course, when you guys are going to be meeting these students, everyone is unique, everyone is different. I'm making a lot of generalizations here, but in my years of teaching, I found that there are three general types of students that you're going to meet and I'm going to talk about my experience with them and how you can help them out. So the first kind of student that I want to talk about is the confused student. And this student is confused because people are probably doing better than him or her and they're not getting the grades that they're used to getting. And the main reason a lot of times that this student is confused is because all of the ways that they've been trying to do well in other classes is not working for this class. And what I mean by that is they've probably been used to memorizing information, trying to see what's on a test, and re regurgitate everything that they memorized and putting it on the test. And they're seeing this is not working for physics at all. And that's not what's gonna work for physics. You really have to apply the knowledge that you are understanding in the classroom. So just like any, any kind of skill, this is something that they can also master. What I've seen is really helpful for these kind of students is to give them a lot of encouragement. A lot of times these students just think, oh, physics isn't for me, I hate physics, I just suck at physics. But they have to realize this is a skill, this analyzing, this thinking is something that they can develop. And I've seen so many students after like the second or sometimes even after the third market period, it just starts to click and they just start getting the grades that they're always used to getting. So make sure if you have a student like this, to encourage them a lot. Make sure that they're not just giving up on themselves, they're not just labeling themselves as bad students, but they can believe in themselves and they know that if they keep working hard, it will start to click. And I've seen that time and time again where things start to click later on. So encourage these students to keep believing in themselves. So the second student really reminds me of myself. It's probably who I was as a high school student. I'm gonna call this person the free thinker. So they usually really enjoy physics, they find it fascinating, they find it really cool, but the big problem that they have is they're not really using logic, they're not really using, they're not really disciplined and really learning the principles of physics. They really enjoy physics because it really gets them thinking a lot, but they haven't learned the discipline to be able to not listen to their intuition and to listen more to the principles. So they're thinking a lot of, oh yeah, like, heavy objects are bigger so they should be falling faster. So they're thinking a lot, but they're not using the principles that they should be learning. So a lot of times they like to just think for themselves and think what makes sense, what they think should make sense, and then they put that as that's what real life is. However, that doesn't usually work. Physics isn't very intuitive a lot of times. A lot of times it's opposite of what your intuition says. For example, a light object and a heavy object are gonna fall at the exact same time. Your intuition is gonna say the heavier object falls first, and this is the mistake that a lot of people, a lot of the free thinkers make, is they make up their own rules with physics, they make up their own thoughts of how the world should work, and they put that for the tests and the quizzes. And how you can help these kinds of students, you have to really help these students to really focus on the principles and the concepts that you're teaching. Help them to get away from their own kind of thoughts or their own kind of formulas and really get them disciplined to thinking about the principles and using that as the basis of solving problems. Try to help them to get away from their own thinking and help them reach more of the principles of what physics is all about. The third type of student is the physics obsessed student. And this person is obsessed with physics. They love it. Whether they've never heard about it before or whether they've been learning about it their whole life through YouTube, like they know all the YouTube channels, they watch all this astronomy stuff and they're just obsessed with it. And these kind of students many times, you know, when they're in gym class, they're talking about physics, they're talking about, hey, what's the velocity of that dodgeball? Hey, what's the acceleration of this? They like joke around and they just like become obsessed with physics and just like start talking about it in like everyday life. They like think about it when they're like walking home. They think about it when it's raining outside and all the times like that. And many times for these students, like physics come to them right away. Like they barely have to do homework. They barely have to review. And sometimes they barely even have to pay attention in class and they're gonna be acing everything. A lot of people feel jealous of these people because they're like, how can you like barely pay attention and still be doing way better than me? But somehow, like whether it's they know they've done a lot of logic games or they've done a lot, a lot of puzzles inside of their life, it's just able to click for them and they're just able to do really well with just being able to pay attention a little bit. So what I do with these kinds of students is I make sure to challenge them. Whenever I have a challenging question or whenever we're doing a question, 
I make sure to do give them something extra to make sure they're extra motivated. Sometimes I give them challenge problems to do or extra material to kind of think about. And they, they love physics that they don't mind kind of doing these kinds of things. So those are the three main students that I've seen year and year. Of course, there are many people who are in between and th there's no one that's exactly like those kind of three, but that's my generalization of where you might fall into. And uh, those are the kind of students that you're probably gonna see and hopefully that you can help all of them out. So thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next one.